Hey, Petey Grizz here. Today, I just got something pretty cool in the mail. I picked this climber up for 20 bucks this week, and uh, I just took a shot on it because of the cool scales on it. And what it is, is it has the 1891 to 1991 centennial inlay on the scale. And um, that makes it in, in uh, you know, a little bit of history. Carl Elsner started uh, making, started his company making knives in 1884. And then in 1890, he developed the soldier's knife and uh, brought together a Swiss Cutlers Association so that working together, the manufacturers could produce the uh, soldier knife in enough numbers to supply the military because up until that point, the Swiss military was being supplied by German cutlers. So in 1891 is the year the uh, soldier knife was released officially. And uh, then in uh, 1897 is when the soldier or the officer's knife debuted. But this is celebrating the centennial of basically what is the start of Victorinox officially, you know, Carl Elsner releasing the soldier knife. Anyway, being a 1991, it does not have a hook. This is the year the hook came out, so I don't know if they started after 1991 or if there was a point in 1991 where, you know, before that point they don't have hooks and after they do. But it's certainly, an, I mean, so likely this model was made in 1990, so it has 1990 specs, so it would have been made ahead of time to release in 1991. So that makes sense why it doesn't have a hook. If it was a 1992, for whatever reason, then it would certainly have a hook. But anyway, we have the corkscrew, which has the decorative fluting on it. It's just a decorative element. Looks cool. I prefer it. After this, they started going to a plain corkscrew, which I think doesn't look as ornate. This one is numbered 3115. They made 5,000 of these that year. So it's cool that it has the serial number on it. It has a reamer. A little dirty. I barely even looked at this thing too much. It uh, has a reamer with the hole in it, the sewing eye in it. Have the opening layer, the bottle opener with screwdriver and stripping notch, which has a half stop. The, oh, you little bastard. This, uh, my thumbnail is busted. And I am having a hard time opening stuff with my thumb, right thumbnail. But the can opener, you know, typical can opener with the small flathead and the 2D Phillips. This is a little tight, but it's loosening up. I just don't think it's been used in many years because it doesn't quite snap closed. And I busted my fingernail opening another tough knife today. And now I'm having trouble opening everything, of course, because that's, that's just how it goes. Let's see if I can do it. Yeah, the scissors came out pretty easily. So, it's got a gorgeous pair of scissors. They work flawlessly. Look as if they've barely ever been used. And then, everybody's famous, a pen blade. Yep, it's a pen blade. And then, on to the cool part. So, when I saw this, I couldn't see this in the photos in the listing, which is why I was taking a chance on it. But one of the coolest features of it is this etch. And of course, it's got my fingerprints on it. But the etch says, A Century of Craftsmanship. It has the four-line tang stamp with the uppercase V. It has the crossbow and officer Swiss on the back. And uh, this had a bunch of tape residue on it. But even despite that, like in the photos, I just could not see this etch at all which I suspect is why nobody else bid on it because it went for $19.99 and these typically go for quite a bit more and I just couldn't understand why nobody was bidding on it and I was confused why I couldn't see an etch so I figured screw it I'll take a chance on it for 20 bucks and sure enough the etch is there it's not only it's not even worn out it's just there fully intact I'm going to polish this up a little bit. I did have to clean off. Like, it looks like they'd only used it to open boxes and stuff. It had a bunch of tape residue on it. But the blade's in fantastic shape. The knife overall is in terrific shape. The tweezers and toothpick are 
as you would expect. You know, nothing like shoving it a strange toothpick in your mouth. God knows where it's been, you know, but that's how I roll. I'll use a dirty toothpick. Who am I to care? You know, I'll, t I'll put that toothpick, you know, who knows where that toothpick's been. Actually, I barely ever, I, I don't think I've ever used their toothpicks as a toothpick. I use them to pick a, like lint and stuff out of the inside of the knives. That's what I find they're most useful for. But I really think this inlay is beautiful. Very sure there's some scratching on the scales, but that's something with a little bit of light sanding, I can polish this up no problem. I can make this thing look 100% brand new. So I just thought that was a cool little knife. A whole not, not a whole lot of story to tell other than it being a centennial, a centennial edition. This is around the era when they were branding themselves as Swiss Army in the United States. So instead of uh, seeing Victorinox as the brand on boxes and items, you would actually see just Swiss Army. And they actually had some kind of legal dispute over that. I, I know they had to go to court and win the right to market themselves as just Swiss Army. I don't know if that had to do with Wenger or something else. But either way, I know there was a legal dispute regarding whether they could sell their knives on, as Swiss Army as a brand and not just Swiss Army as a type of knife, if that makes any sense. But um, this did have, you know, would have had a, a limited edition box, not a metal tin or anything, just like a little uh, faux a cardboard box that was tufted to look kind of like it was leather. There's a gray box. Uh, I'm working on editing so I can insert photos and stuff, but uh, my computer is slow, so slow. So right now I'm just making the videos on this. It's just easier. And uh, I, there's probably a way I could do it on iPhone, but I'm just uh, not that interested really. But anyway, I, uh, I, as, as I post this video, I believe I should be hitting 300 subs today. I want to thank everybody for the support and showing the love and subscribing and commenting. Uh, it's, it's really blown my mind how much people have responded to my silly little videos about these awesome little knives. And I, I appreciate, you know, seeing just how much these uh, little red wonders fascinate others as much as they do me. And it's cool to be part of such a great community. The Swiss Army community and the knife community in general is just full of friendly people that are always so willing to help. And I think that's just a great part of it. I especially want to thank Knife Chats with Tobias, Patty's Potato Peelers, Mark Kaufman, uh, Knife Save Lives. You guys have really helped me out and I really appreciate it. And uh, I thank you so much. Anyway... Y'all take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Petey Grizz, out.